and welcome to Computer Vision Zero to Hero blog series. The last few years were exceptionally bountiful for Computer Vision. We started with simple models that could do image recognition on low resolution images, we moved on to higher resolution to complex scenes and object segmentation, that is finding the actual pixels belonging to every specific object, to image generation, taking text prompt and turning into a highly detailed and realistic image, to image editing, taking an image or photo and replacing one object with another, to uh, taking your photo and making you look like a cartoon character, to taking a video of someone talking and translated, translating it in another language so that it looks like the actor is actually saying these things with his own voice and the lip sync, to deepfakes, uh, making an actor or politician say things they didn't really say in real life. Even the memes alone, I think, were already worth it. And this is not just about deepfakes and fun. Computer vision is used in a lot of areas in industry and science. Think about self-driving cars, robotics, medicine, classifying MRI images or X-ray images, industry, leak detection drones, and so on. Um, and these tasks are, are actually really complicated. So think about this one task of image editing and replacing one object with another. You have to identify the object and identify the exact pixels that belong to that object. Then you generate a new object in its place. Then you place this generated object in the original scene with the proper shadowing so that it doesn't look off for the human eye. Then you, in, in, in this case, the new object has a slightly different shape to the original object. So you have to generate the continuation of the background as if you knew what was there. So this is quite complex. And um, there are free apps that let you do that. There are tutorials that teach you how to download a model and use it yourself and do some image generation. But if you try to look under the hood, it becomes quite complicated really fast. If you try to understand the architecture of the model, if you try to read an original paper like this one, you get bombarded with words like contrastive loss, crowding, multimodality feature comparison, and so on. And you try to understand what do these words mean, and you dig deeper and read more papers with even more known words. That can be daunting even for experienced machine learning engineers. So the purpose of this blog is to help everyone bridge that gap, to get started with something really simple, like introduction to machine learning tutorial that lets you train your first model, and work our way up to advanced concepts in the modern computer vision, to look into the architecture of state-of-the-art models, to read the original papers, uh, to understand how all of it works, and to do that in simple terms. Uh, I do assume that you know some of the machine learning, like backprop, dense layers, gradient descent, uh, but not in the actual computer vision. Um, so I promise you we'll be writing the actual code, we will be reading the actual papers and trying to understand what's going on there. We will look at state-of-the-art models and we'll read their code and again, try to understand what's going on in there. So stay tuned.